so we got quite a big amount of insulation again so that's gonna be a second layer uh, which will go under slab this one is a bit special it has um, has like small nimbles I believe they called so that's gonna help um, with the installation of the radiant uh, with the piping for the radiant heating so we'll see how that's gonna help us exciting times as you can see this is uh, so the product called heat sheet uh, R10 eight pieces per bundle 30 psi and as you can see it's made in Canada wow that's awesome right and again for those of you who are wondering how it was transported so this is how I made uh, three trips uh, to pick them up the distributor was not so far away from here so that was not a big deal for me but anyway uh, hopefully in a couple of days we will install them then maybe one day for the tubing and in four days the slop is gonna be poured so we have to make sure it is installed or else there is no otherwise there is no other choice also you probably noticed there is some uh, background excavator sound in the woods uh, that's basically our neighbors they are started to they started to uh, to clear the land so hopefully they gonna I think they gonna start this year by the end of this year so very soon we're gonna have neighbors there maybe 300 meters away from us but uh, as you can see this still you can hear the excavator working and uh, clearing the land we'll keep you updated on that As you can see, pretty easy installation, pretty quick. Uh, those panels, they do have like uh, locking uh, grooves, I guess, to keep the panels in place when you install them. So that helps a lot. And it's pretty easy. So if you want to save some money on your 5 million new house, just do it yourself it seems pretty easy and quick over here but once we go to the end where the utility room is there is going to be quite a lot of holes but again the panels are so small so i hope it's not going to take as much time because we'll be less holes per panel uh, to cut so we'll see
This condor goes to one of the in-floor receptacle and it has to be laid below the insulation but the way it was put unbelievable look at that so straight so I need to cut a channel for this conduit in the insulation sheets so I don't know it's gonna be a piece of art of course to make that recess to follow that conduit well quite a challenge huh I mean who would put conduit straight right that's that's not how it's supposed to be done. It's supposed to be RT, right? Yeah, and that's how I do grooves for those conduits. Just made two lines with the knife. So those lines I made with the knife. Just with this one, and now I will go with uh, with that tool just to just to make a recess. the beautiful fog we woke up to this is just amazing it's colder kind of 12 degrees but look at this oh my god so pretty yeah and we're almost done with this insulation a lot of work to do today putting the tubing in and all of it but we are hopeful and this day is gonna be gorgeous it's still gonna be sunny but for now it looks like this oh so pretty just wanted to share it with you well max is finishing with the insulation this piece is left it's a little bit complicated lots of holes to be drilled and all so he's working on that I'm gonna shift my attention to this. Yep. That's gonna be a tubing in the floor. First two lines of radiant uh, pipes are installed. Uh, so what we found out, this uh, radiant pipe is not as flexible as we thought it will be. So whenever we need to go around, like put a band in it, it's not really bending easily and it tries to escape through, you know, no, not really sticking where we want it to. So we bought those staples ahead of time you see these ones these ones uh, so we bought them ahead of time because we didn't know if we will be able to get this insulation pads uh, with the kind of radiant heat bumps in it 
But even with this, uh, unfortunately, the pipe will not bend as we need it. So it's good that we have those staples. We don't have a stapler though, but Max came up with this brilliant idea. You see, he just cut the uh, holes in a pipe and now it just works like this. You can push it in and it actually staples the pipe in place. As you can see some of the sheets they were without those nimbles or pimples not sure how you call them uh, I guess it's a production defect but this is what it is not a big deal so out of almost 200 sheets so those three they had some issues but it was a really good product very easy to work with We're gonna work until, I guess, midnight tonight because we still have lots to do and it's getting dark, it's nice sunset though and tomorrow is a poor day, so we must finish it Pipes are pressurized to uh, like 53 psi, something like this. Uh, so we are all ready for the concrete, and the pour is gonna start as soon as truck comes in. It's 7:30 in the morning. And the concrete crew is coming already, so they're gonna start pouring at 8 or a little bit after 8. And yeah, so this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> 